Welcome everyone to my new video presentation on Solana price prediction and technicals. It is basically a situation out here where Solana is trying to survive without taking that huge selling pressure from the ones that made insane profits with this crypto. It is always like this after a rally, you need to get yourself through survival. This is how it is guys. Whether you enjoy it or not, cryptocurrencies needs to fight with the ones that are selling, with the ones that are dumping, with the ones that are shortening and exiting out of their long positions at a time the crypto is no longer delivering 20% a day. So if they don't see 20% daily, they no longer care about, they are moving to something else, trying to take advantage of that and continuing like this basically, which is why it's generating difficulties for the majority of cryptos to hold on a chart when that happens solana it's still in the trendings it's no longer number one number two number three it's no longer amongst the biggest gainers but it's worth our attention again for a few minutes however before we get into it make sure for those of you that value education and are serious about this business check out the one-on-one -on -one coaching with me where i'm looking for transforming you into a professional trader through our intensive and comprehensive coaching program that is learning live one-on-one -on -one check that out. At the same time, we have our done for you trading without any prior fees, only commission from profits made. I'm going to talk about both these things at the end of the video. By the way, you can schedule up a free call with me and have discussed. Now, Solana one hour candlestick. This is the situation, guys. We are having a little pressure coming from the moving averages as we are pretty much trading right now below all the moving averages of 20 days 50 days 100 days and 200 days especially that it has been a situation out here to be around uh, under this uh, moving averages for the past couple of days so definitely not something astonishing for our 27th 28th of november yet what is a little more problematic is the resistance we have basically on the zone of you know 59 60 dollars a minor supply level appearing right there which is clearly representing and telling us that the price section as soon as it touches those levels selling pressure is activated and it turns out to be the dominant one that's right that's correct but at the same time the market is held here by a beautiful minor support zone as well which is obviously filled up with demand and it goes beautiful what happens whenever we have a breakout out of this well on the upper side there is liquidity especially above 63 dollars so above this top right there which is usually the point that the markets enjoy crossing whenever you have a higher high situation like this when the second high you make is basically the one that will keep the markets quite low and under pressure with certain zones which is the current case exactly as the pattern as as the theoretical explanation request you enjoy basically pumping into the area between the second prior high and the ultimate high you had so the second prior is this one and the ultimate is that guy right there. So the area in between is this one. We're looking for seeing movements between 63 and $68. And then depends what is the environment at that time. How does BTC looks? How does Ethereum looks? What are the news around the market? What's the external input? And all these things as well. How do we behave? Do we have the ability to transform to important levels? We can try transforming 63 into our support confirm twice or triple and then we're going to explode break the high and continue the rally is going to continue at that time very aggressively now in the way it has behaved in the past month things will take time guys the markets can very easily slow down and leave some path towards movements of range that are part of the liquidity gains. So don't be scared about these things or you might expect Solana to go non-stop towards 10-15% movements daily. It will not happen. Keep in mind that the bull run is more than a year when it starts moving. And if the cryptos would do 10% daily for a total year, this space would be one of a kind where with a dollar you would become a millionaire and in terms of everybody it's not like that it's definitely not like that 
do not expect those things we have cycles we have different stages and we have macro micro cycles in each stage things are looking a little more complex so whatever we touch here in terms of 51 52 reaction must appear cannot be missing no matter that we're trading below the moving averages right now this is not an issue as we're on the one hour candlesticks on the higher time frames it's different but on the one hour candlesticks this is definitely not a problem now we have been putting together this double bottom on the 51 52 uh, strong demand level at the same time we have the ability to create a lower low on the 48 49 which would be also pleasurable for the exchanges to take out a lot of the people that have longed in this ranging structure they will use the stop loss of the previous bottom so markets can easily get into the 48 49 take people out create a lower low structure uh, put you into the wrong type of a thinking and then basically get back to the higher supply at 58 so this is extremely visible and the markets used to do this most of the time again we're not supposed to be scared at all in the way the market looks and i'm telling you honestly if btc would have went in a flash movement in an aggressive pump towards 38 and then it would have dumped back to thirty thousand dollars quickly without having the volume and the ability to hold the levels around 38 37 36 then the rally would have not existed and the market would have not had uh, the condition towards me speaking for bullishness forward. So this isn't just something that you pump and you come back to the same level. The crypto today is no longer in that phase. Those things are usually appearing in accumulation stages in bear market conditions and something that we used to call undecided and undefined areas now total different in this stage we got out of accumulation zones we got out of the crypto winter market and we're actually trading in a pre-bull market so get yourself ready with education and knowledge for those of you that value these things in a one-on-one -on -one coaching program with me uh you know you can check around the page the coaching is divided in three stages the mental side the psychological side the technical analysis side where you need to learn how to understand the language of the market and then the live trading side as well so we are pretty much having homework for you every single time and it's custom directly on your problems on your situations on your questions which is why it's one-on-one -on -one. and then the done for you trading for those of you that would like to join my trades i mean you can read around the page to find out more or jump on a quick conversation with me not much to say about as no copywriting sales page and i'm not trying to push basically anything that's pretty much all uh, free call on calendly have a good time if you enjoyed this video like it subscribe and looking forward to it